Hey fellow travelers, it's Sienna from Curious Chicks Travel and I want to talk to you today about this really cool thing I checked out, the Festival of Lights at the Mission Inn Hotel and Spa in Riverside, California. Every year around Christmas, there's the Festival of Lights and they decorate their hotel inside and out with wonderful Christmas decorations to put in the holiday spirit. The grounds are huge and the architecture is already beautiful. So when you add these lights to it and all these festive decorations, it just is so magical and it really puts you in the Christmas spirit. You definitely don't need to be a guest to enjoy the Festival of Lights. Visitors can come for free, walk within and around the hotel. What's interesting is that the Mission Inn Hotel and Spa was not really ever a mission. It originally was a boarding house and the owner's son purchased the land and property from him and turned it into what we know it to be today. And he loved mission style architecture so much that he incorporated a lot of the architectural features into the building of this hotel. The hotel has expanded to additional wings by other architects. So there's a conglomeration of architectural styles. The owner was a huge art collector, so around the hotel, you'll actually see a lot of pieces on display. It does take you to another world. I almost felt as if I was in another country altogether. Right outside of the hotel, there is like a promenade. They consider that downtown Riverside. It's a wide promenade open to pedestrians only. It reminds me a little bit of the Santa Monica Third Street Promenade, just not as lively. There's antique shops and boutiques and some places to eat, so it's pretty cute pretty quaint. They have these horse-drawn carriages that make you feel like Cinderella. It was about $40 for a 12 minute ride around the block. So it's just a fun thing if you want to splurge a little bit, but otherwise you can enjoy the property just as easily by foot. So there's a small little museum connected to the hotel and they offer tours. Ours was about $17, $18. And it's about an hour, hour 15 minutes, where you learn a lot about the history of Riverside and how the hotel came to be. And they'll take you on a small walking tour of some of the more important parts of the hotel. I can't say that they took you around too much of the property. I got to see so much more exploring on my own. The best way to really experience it all is to actually stay maybe a night at the hotel and then you get to explore the grounds a little bit more in depth and you might be able to access certain parts of the hotel that you wouldn't otherwise. The hotel has some really cool bars and restaurants to eat. It is a really cool place to just hang out and get a drink or two and lounge. Other than the Mission Inn, there's not a whole lot of other things to do in Riverside. So the next time you find yourself in California, you might want to stop by in Riverside to check out the Mission Inn, especially during the holidays. It's fun for the kids, it's fun for couples, it's fun for a group of friends. Or if you're in Los Angeles and you want a little staycation, might be a fun thing to do. And they do offer AAA discounts, so keep that in mind if you want to save a couple of bucks. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, leave us a comment, and follow us on Instagram at Curious Chicks Travel.